today. Very cool meditation, by the way, first of all. And I don't know what the hell is going to come out of my mouth today, but I have an idea that I want to share with you that I heard years ago. And it's kind of funny, but it's kind of truth and it kind of resonates. So we'll see. We'll see what comes out of my mouth. But I heard the, the idea, the concept of... Let me share something else first. I've seen in my own journey, in people that I work with, and everyone that we talk to in society these days, that we have information overload and we have information coming to us from so many places whether it's books magazines uh tv and um there's a car pulling up so i got distracted but youtube videos podcasts so many different places right and even though we have information overload we're still looking for more information we're still trying to find more information so we could even be making the situation worse and what's funny is that we're never applying what we learn we're never embodying what we learn and we keep looking for more so i heard someone talk about the idea of mental masturbation so that's funny we'll see what they think right next to me in the car when they hear that out, out loud mental masturbation that <laughs> we're just obsessively obsessively wanting more and more information and looking for more and more facts and it's like that little addiction right instead of a porn addiction now it's an information addiction and you're basically jerking off there's so much information that we're consuming and absorbing and trying to bring in and it's interesting because I see that I see that even within myself. So I'm not even like judging or something. It's just sharing ideas. Might sound like a jerk right now, but it's just sharing ideas to see what you think and spark maybe some ideas within you. But sometimes this happens a lot. People ask me a ton of questions about health because they know I've been in the field for over a decade now and very passionate about it. So. Sometimes we want like crazy hacks and what's the latest hack and the latest diet and what should I do when it comes to how many reps and sets and this should I do to burn more fat and get like very little detailed things that they want to learn and they're not even drinking any fucking water. So it's like, are you serious? Like you want the latest biohack and you're going to go do all these crazy things and you're not even drinking water and you're not even like trying to relax and slow down and you're not even implementing the basics so i think we need to go back to the basics like when it comes to business this happened to me too i was obsessed about growing my youtube channel and i was obsessed about growing my social media and then i realized like well what i actually want is to become a better coach and have a much bigger impact on the people that i work with and what I actually want is that when I make a video, I have a much deeper and more powerful impact. So I'm not going to get there by learning the little YouTube hacks so that I can have a huge channel. I'll get there by making more videos and coaching more people and doing the inner work myself so that when I coach someone, we can go way deeper because I've gone there myself. And then when I share something in a video, it has a more powerful impact because it's coming from a deeper place because I've done the inner work myself. So I realized it's not about just endlessly consuming information. Let's embody what we learn. Let's try it out and actually implement it in your life. And it doesn't mean that you need to do like a hundred day gone like I'm doing with something that you learn or, or, or commit to like three months of non-stop of what you what you just learned i also like the analogy of think of it like a new jacket you put it on you try it out if it doesn't feel good change it exchange it get a new one stop using that one so if you receive an idea from someone if someone teaches you something whether it's health related whatever self-development, spirituality, relationships, whatever you, whatever information comes in to your brain, to your mind, 
try it out like that jacket but if it doesn't resonate if it doesn't feel good it's okay to move on but try things out embody what you learn we already have information overload and it's very difficult to completely avoid that nowadays but Oh, this and this connects to so many topics but I was even um, learning from anthropologists and the fact that we still even with less activity than our ancestors were burning as many calories because of our mental um, how much we're taxing ourselves mentally we have so many things to process mentally that our brains need more calories than thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago however you want to look at it so it's so interesting how that will link and connect to everything else but the point that I was trying to make with what I just said is that we're not maybe we're not made we're not wired to even though we're incredibly capable of so many things we're not made to be constantly processing information constantly consuming information and learning give yourself a little time to process what you learned right when you eat a meal you don't keep eating the entire day you digest what you just consumed so i guess that's it i don't even know where i'm going with this i don't even know where <laughs> i hope this makes sense i just wanted to share this um maybe something that resonated let me know if it did Thumbs up if it helped. It's getting hot. I gotta go. But hope that helped. I don't know. I'm rambling today, but it feels good. I like it. I enjoy it. So <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Hope you have an incredible day.